Yo guys, it is Chronoferry and today I'm bringing you a quick tutorial on how to install the replay mod together with Optifine for Minecraft version 1.16. So the replay mod allows you to create amazing Minecraft cinematics. I even used it in one of my Minecraft parodies recently. You can see that in my come and go Minecraft parody, this shot over here was done using the replay mod. So this is just an example of what the replay mod can do. So the whole reason as to why you want to install the replay mod together with Optifine is because Optifine will allow you to use shaders and the replay mod allows you to film amazing time lapses. So usually you want these uh, time lapses or videos to be done with shaders for the maximum uh, quality and experience, right? So that's why you want to install the replay mod together with Optifine since Optifine supports shaders. Now before we get into the tutorial here, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like on the video as it helps more people see and benefit from this tutorial. Okay, let's get started. The things that you will need because the replay mod is a bit complicated to install but you shouldn't have any problems uh, as long as you're watching this tutorial. I'll try to uh, make it as brief as I possibly can. So these are all the files that are required in order to install Optifine together with the replay mod correctly. First of all, you need the replay mod. Uh, next, you need Optifine itself, and then you need uh, Fabric Mod Loader, along with OptiFabric to ensure compatibility between Optifine and Fabric Mod Loader, and then you need Fabric API, and last but not least, you need FFmpeg in order to render out your videos in the replay mod. So the links to all these files will be in the description down below. So I'll show you how to install each one right now. So for the replay mod, you just want to click Download. Uh, make sure you select Minecraft version 1.16.1, .1, hit Download and just wait a couple of seconds and the jar file should be downloaded onto your computer next you move on to fabric same thing here uh, you can download the installer for windows or you can download the other installer if you are using mac os or other types of operating systems and again it's an .exe file if you choose this one which is the one that i've downloaded or it will be a .jar file if you're downloading it on other operating systems that are not windows all right, on to the next one, guys. You have Fabric API, which is required as well. Uh, once you are on the Fabric API page, you just want to click download and just wait a couple of seconds and your download will begin automatically. So just wait for it to download and as usual, it's yet another jar file. So the next thing you need here is OptiFabric. So in order to download it, you don't actually want to hit the download button here. You want to go to files because if you just click download from here, it will download the 1.15 version, which is not what you want. You want to go over to files, navigate to 1.16.1, the latest one, which is over here, 28,000 downloads. And from here, you just click the download icon and you just keep the jar file and you're done. That's OptiFabric. So last but not least, you will need to download FFmpeg in order to render your creations in the replay mod. So you want to head to the link in the description. This will take you to the FFmpeg website where all you need to do is just click download build and it will download as a archive file, which you can open using WinRAR or 7-zip, but you don't want to open it because that's not what you're supposed to do. So now that you have downloaded everything here, you can see that I've downloaded uh, OptiFabric, OptiFine, Fabric API, Replay Mod, Fabric Installer, and FFmpeg. So just make sure you have all these files um, downloaded onto your computer. And what you want to do now is you want to run the Fabric Installer. This will install the Fabric Mod Loader onto your Minecraft client. So just double click it to run. Make sure that you have Minecraft version 1.16.1 selected, hit install, and that's it. You have installed uh, Fabric Mod Loader. Now for the rest of these mods, uh, you need to navigate over to your .minecraft folder. You want to type percent at data percent, and you want to hit enter. So this will bring you to your roaming folder. You want to click .minecraft, and over here in the mods folder, you want to double click to open that. And you want to drag in the replay mod, Fabric API, Optifine, as well as OptiFabric. So these four files, you want to drag it over into your mods folder. And you're almost done. You're just left with FFmpeg. So last but not least is FFmpeg. You want to drag over the archive file into your .minecraft. So just wait for a couple of seconds for it to copy over. You want to right click and click extract here. So you don't want to drag this into your mods folder, guys. Just keep that in mind. You want to drag this into your... Um, dot minecraft folder so you want to delete once you have extracted it so you can see that you have the ffmpeg uh, folder here right you, you want to rename uh, this ffmpeg folder that you have extracted from the archive file so just right click rename and just delete all this stuff after so you just leave it as ffmpeg 
So now you have successfully installed the replay mod together with Optifine and you are now ready to launch your Minecraft client. Just ensure that you have Fabric Loader 1.16.1, this profile selected, hit play and wait for your Minecraft to launch. Okay, so when you launch Minecraft, you should be taken to this screen here, this uh, title screen, where you can see that Optifine has been installed along with Fabric Mod Loader. So that means you have installed it correctly and there should be this uh, replay viewer button here. That's how you know that you have installed the replay mod successfully. So you can just go ahead and test it out, launch any uh, Minecraft world here and the replay mod should be working. Okay, so you can see that I've just launched my Minecraft single player world and you can see at the top left hand corner it says recording, that means the replay mod is working. You can pause or stop the recording at any time and I have shaders enabled as well with Optifine, that's why the world looks kind of nice now. But that's basically it guys, uh, this means that you have installed Optifine because you can zoom in and as well as the replay mod successfully. So now you can go forth and create amazing videos, right? It will help a lot with video making if you want to do build time lapses with shaders on or just any Minecraft uh, videos in general, really, it will be a big help. So that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I upload Minecraft videos here on a regular basis, not just installation tutorials like this one, but also PVP commentary videos regarding Minecraft and Minecraft video essays as well. So if that sounds interesting to you, don't forget to subscribe. Other than that, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.